All right. And I think I need to heal up because I'm very low. Okay, let's go to F F1. Okay. What are some fights here? Another quest? This again. Still this guy. Hmm? There we go. <laughs> hey there. Interested in becoming Japan's next top talent? Sorry, but no thanks. I'm in a hurry right now. Hmm. Basic bitch. Yes, this is Saito. Uh, yeah, about Sanachan. Saito, alright. Now oh, what's he saying about Sanchan? Yep, mm-hmm, correct. I talked with her not too long ago. She knows the deal. Okay, absolutely, will do. I'll head over there right now. Good, lead the way, jackass. Okay, looks like I have to tail him. No, you didn't actually notice me, eh? Do I have enough for the upgrade? I can't upgrade and the tailing. Doesn't stop, does he? Oh no!
Found him. Hmm? What the hell? Looks like they're getting down to business. Need to get close enough to hear him, but without getting too caught. Okay, um... Items? Outfit? Alright, now I can eavesdrop without being caught. So over there, cute, isn't she? Oh. Fuck yeah, she is. Who is this girl? Only 19, so she's right up your alley. Her name's Sana Mihama. Says she wants to be a singer or songwriter. Oh, ain't that adorable? I know, right? She seems really pure. That a lot of dudes would get out that. Eh, <laughs> <laughs> I can already see the captions. Innocent babe parries it all on camera. Watch and chill to start him. Sweet Sana from the suburbs want to be a singer, but when she gets caught by pervert producer, he discovers her true talents lie elsewhere. <laughs> what do you think? You are one disgusting motherfucker, you know that. And is that perverted producer supposed to be me? Ha ha ha, of course it is, dumbass. Even a matter is gonna sound legit these days. Mm. My god, these people make me sick. But yeah, as I was saying, this chick could make us hella do. I'm just gonna hand her over to television. Makes sense. Well, I already gave her the heads up. So go ahead and film her. Who knows? Maybe she'll like it? I I need to report this to the client. Don't talk to Sana as her cli as your client. Sana chan, I found some things about you should know. Very disturbing things. Where are you right now? Okay, I'm over at Theater Square. Good, I'll be there. So please wait for me. I need to go to the other square anyways. Uh, yeah. Oh, gotta heal up. Let's use the medicine kit, just so we heal that thing, and now we can kill them. Ouch. Let's get the bicycle. Ah, uh, lag. Okay. I don't know, 240 frames drop for me. That was like 4 seconds. But that's okay. Seems to be working now. Let's keep going. No, leave me alone. I'm gonna steal the bicycle. Nice. I'll have to heal up at some point. Well, since I'm already here, I can get the items again. Seems like they just keep respawning every time. So one here, and one was near that shop or whatever. In this corner. Yeah. Main story. Oh, more people to fight. Any bike? There is one here. Oh, was that just one guy? Yeah, should have kept the bike, honestly. That's like the strongest, this wall, wall jumps. 
Okay, let's talk to the client again. are trying to impersonate Jester with that mask. You aren't him. You aren't him. He's trying to pull a fast one on us, dumbass. Eek, I'm sorry. Besides, Jester never wore all this loud tacky shit. So here's a good plan. Why don't we take his off hands? Then he'll really look the part. Ha ha ha. Those guys. What are they doing? Hey, stop. Shh, it looks like we get company. Bring him down too. You asked for it. Zero. All right. Hey, aren't you that weird thieves fan? Yes. What happened? I saw the thieves and I wanted to shake their hands, but they uh, kind of. Yagami-san, you came at a bad hey. time. Crow, what's going on here? A little slip up. More importantly, did you find Jester? Not yet. I'm disappointed. For a detective with a reputation for proving a murder suspect innocent, you are not that impressive. I could say the same about you. Righteous thieves? What a joke. And you're a missing friend? That's a lie too, right? You're coming pretty strong here, Agami. Why do you ever think that? I think there's plenty of evidence. This. Revealed evidence. The way I hear it, you broke the rule about only stealing from the corrupt. Ah, huh? uh, what are you talking about? The chap was all too good pass up, wasn't it? He couldn't resist. You're talking out of your ass. I don't keep any of the money I steal. It seems stupid to even have to point this out, but... That crap you're wearing? I heard it's expensive. And how many do you even have? More than I could afford. Haha, uh -huh. now we're seeing detective come out. You have a good eye. So tell me, why are you really looking for Jester? No reason, really. Just had a pretty tempting job to offer him. We're going to rob the security van of Credit Union. And the best part, the client is the Credit Union's manager. Mm -hmm. What? They need a robbery to happen to corrupt the financial failure. Classic insurance fallout. They get reimbursed by their insurance, and they expect us to give us what we steal, doubling their profits. <laughs> but I have no intentions of giving it back. People are s such idiots when they're backed into a corner. So we're staging a robbery, and then breaching our contract. What happened to Honor Among Thieves? That's how it was, at first. We used to talk big on back channel net chats, but we'd always chicken out when it came back to playing the heist. We were all talk, just a bunch of losers on the web, until he showed up. You mean Jester? Ah. Yeah, he was a genius. He knew how to execute a plan. We owe it all to him. He got big enough to gain a following. Yeah, and then he left you high and dry when he got too greedy. Yep, he was all about punishing social injustice. Always acting so high and mighty. And what makes you think he will help you on this fraud heist? Who knows, if he saw what a payday it's gonna be. Even he might have changed of heart, and if he didn't? Then, I guess it would be parting ways. Permanently. Sounds like that was your plan from the beginning. I take it you planned of getting rid of me too. Of course, especially now that you know what I've told you. I'm afraid your time has come. Yeah, right. I took your job and I expect to get paid. Bring it on. No. Leave me alone. Ouch. Any bikes? There's one. Ah! 
Bye. Gah, shit. You need to disband your little group before the, you do anything really stupid. And I think you owe an apology to everyone who joined you, thinking there was some righteous bandit. Err, I'll end it, man. Yeah, I totally trust you. Yagami-san, hmm? You ever see Jester? And he's still out there playing the hero. Can you tell him to take it down a notch? What do you mean? He's overextending himself. I don't really know what feels his rage against injustice. Probably some tragic shit in his past. But he's gotta stop. He'll get yeah. caught. Alright, I'll talk to him. I'll put the money directly into your bank account. Later. Well, this didn't get me any closer to Jester. But I think I'll learn a few things about him. All the same. You can now accept requests as bartender. Oh? Cool. What's this? It's Ayabe. Masuda told me to give you a ring. Okay, guess Masuda kept his word. You need something? Yeah, info I hear you got. You got the cash? I'm done handing out freebies. Oh, and the price will depend on what you want to know. Well, it just so happens you already told Kaito-san the price. 200 grand. Hmm? You know how all that money got stolen from the Matsugane? I want to know what happened to it. And what, I said it'd be 200k? That's what he told me. In that case... Let's make it 100. Price drops with age. Oh, does it? Look, I'm not pulling the numbers out of my ass. <laughs> I got calculations. System. Anyway, I'll drop by your place tomorrow. Have the cash ready. Alright, I got the money. I got the money. No issues. Um... Wanted to talk to Sana. Where is she? Here. Let's talk to Sana and then go back, and then I'll probably take a break. We'll see. Man, I don't want to fight you. Can I get the upgrade for health yet? Do I have enough? 3000, yeah I do. Okay. Nice. I could just save. Oh, 10k is too much. Let's save 1k to get the combo speed. How much health do I have now? Oh, pretty much. A lot. Went really big. Nice, uh, what's this? Dirty iron. I could do the panty tea first. Since I'm already here. Again? Exactly. Okay, I guess it's upstairs. Gotta use this. Perhaps. Oh, hello, hello. Perhaps this is a nice probably working hey. out. Uh, hey, you. Hmm, who dares to destroy my feast? You're the one they call the Pandy Professor? Indeed I am. I have a great many names. Pandy Professor is Kiwi, Scholar, Linger Little Larry. Perhaps you've come to partake in the banquet with me? Or are you just a scavenger, hoping for sloppy seconds? Not during the moment, but those are actually mine. Well, not mine, per se. I bought them to lure you out. What? I don't deserve this punishment. Hey, 
Hey. Blech. I'm gonna puke. I've been basking in the sand of a man's sweat. Just come along quietly, man. I'll find you some real strong odors down to the station. Never! There are far too many panties in the world just waiting for me to discover them. If you are going to interfere, then this is where you die. Wow, he really wants to fight me, eh? Damn, he's going for a gun. Oh. Wait, whose are those? These belong to none other than this hard robot supermole, Arisa Takeda. Sniff, sniff, sniff. Sniff, sniff, sniff. Yes, yes, yes. Their fusha power is welling up within me. Ah, what? What is he actually getting stronger? The sand of heroes grant me strength. Prepare yourself for the might of my swelling libido. Okay. You're, you're a weird man. Ouch. That hurt. Ow. Dead. Dead. Nice. Return to agency. Ow, even my panty field rage couldn't cut the mustard. Hey, you're coming downtown, sicko. I may have fallen limp, but the others still stand erect. They shall ensure you meet your end. Ha ha ha, ha 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 ha, see you in hell. That's an out, out on you. Come on. I should tell the Sultimate twins what happens. Please don't let me teleport. I don't want to teleport. Looks like I will teleport. Oh no, I'm not here, that's good. You can rest easy now. The panty perverse is going away for a long time. Wow, you're amazing, Yagami-san. You actually you caught him. Great, Thank you, Yagami-san. Now I can sleep in peace. Oh, but before I forget, I think Tsukino wanted to ask you a favor of you. Yeah? Shoot. <laughs> um, this is hard to ask, but don't worry, I can take it. Can you, um, destroy and records of what I told you about my panties? Knowing that's out there is mortifying. Sure, if that will make you more comfortable. <laughs> This panty professor is probably the first guy to actually see them. Huh? Tsukino? Can I just say I didn't want to thank you about it? Hey, Yagami-san. Just so you know, Tsukino is on the market. I would say, if you wanted to see her panties... Aha, uh -huh, get out of here with that. When she's not weird, she's actually quite cute. Twisted trio. Well, let's hope the cuts get to deal with the other two. Okay, that's done. I wanna talk to Sana now. Tell her about the other perverts. It's right over here. Yep. Where are you, Sana? She's not here. That's strange, she should be around here somewhere. Hello? Sana Chan. Yeah, give me some help. They're forcing me to go to the office. Ah, oh. oh. hey, hurry it up. Sana Chan. Uh. This is bad. Where could she be? Did she went in an office? Come on, there has to be a clue somewhere. Where? Where is somewhere? Where could the office be? Could be anywhere. Gotta save her. Let's check the map. She could be anywhere. Mm. Okay. 
Let's see. Where could she be? It's probably some kind of stupid villa or something, or a bar. Maybe some kind of office. Lop Armour, no. Theater Square. Mountain Internet Cafe, no. Gender Law Office, definitely not. Game Center Charles, no. Matsuga Family Office, no. Sat no, no. KJ Art, no. Mm. Ma Mats Makoto Tsukoma, no. It shouldn't be very far from here, that's what I'm thinking. Hotel District. Let's see. Let's check the fi case files. Um, side case for here. That's Sana. More details. Okay, I have a CD and a business card. Oh, business card. He gave me his business card. Super Cinderella Productions Company. Okay, Taihei Boulevard East, Ishiyama Building. Taihei Boulevard East, Ishiyama. Taihei Ishiyama. Taihei Boulevard East, Ishiyama. Oh, it's gonna be somewhere here, so first run, let's run there. There's no fights while I try to rescue Sana. I don't have time for you guys. Uh, I wanted this item though. Plastic. Please, no fights. Please, no fights. Be these guys, maybe? Hmm? Ishiyama Plaza. Alright, Sunshine, here I come. We are coming to free you from your cage. Oh, beautiful. You guys, ready? Here we go. Hey. Charge! Hey, what are you guys are you you're doing? Oh, you're the one who's talking to Sunshine. Some sketchy guys run off with her. Uh, nothing about it seemed right at all. So it was us to follow them. We don't have time for this, brother. So this is the place. We've got a pretty solid information line. Do you come join us? No. You guys wait here and call the police. I will do it on my own. Okay. Good luck, sir. So fourth floor. Let's see. Who do you think you are? Barging here out of nowhere? Yagami-san. I'm here to take Sana-chan home. Oh, you're the detective. Would you mind not getting in our way? Yeah, all we mean to do is er educate her a little, so she won't misbehave on the job. You want in on the fun? Then you'll have to settle for sloppy seconds, or maybe slippery thirds. Get away from her. Oh boy, acting out the fantasy, are we? It's time, we gave you a taste of reality. Really? Really, bros? You really think you, you can beat, uh, beat me? You really think you can beat me? Ouch. Son, are you okay? Kinda killing them here. Let's take Saito for last. Let's kill this guy first. 
Let's take this. Stun gun, eh? Easy. Are you alright, Sanachan? It's alright, Sanachan. You're safe now. Thank you, Egami-san. I'm sorry let this happen. If only I would have warned you. No, don't blame this on yourself. Do you... do you think I'm not meant to be famous? Mm -hmm. What are you saying? What happened just now? I don't think I can take it anymore. If this is what future felt like for me, then forget it. I'm sure there are ways to prevent this from happening again. There has to be. Maybe that's true. But I... I'm so scared. Sana-chan? Just thinking about this awful man makes me cringe. I'm literally shaking right now. Went through something no one should ever have to experience. It's those men who were disgusting, not you. Yeah, but look what happened. I'm nothing but a clueless country girl. With no idea how cruel the city really is. All I wanted was to be under the flashing lights, pouring out to my soul. The people who love my music. And what did I end up doing? I walked right into the trap, not even caring about the consequences. So ignorant, so stupid. Come on. No, you're not! You know, maybe I should just go back to the countryside, forget my hopeless dream. Um... It's too early to give up. Don't you think it's too early to be giving up, I guess? Yes, you trusted the wrong people, but that was your only fault. And it was an accident at that. Are you really going to give up on your dream just because you stumbled on your first step? I... I don't know what to tell you. I've made some mistakes in my time too. I know how much it hurts to think you have won, only to have it all taken away. But if you let your dreams go, it will never come back, no matter how much you regret it later on. Yagami-san. Hey, if you still want to give up, though, I won't stop you. I appreciate you trying to make me feel better, Yagami-san. But actually, I don't give up, Sana-chan. Yeah, you're a super talented singer, Sana-chan. Throwing away all these songs you wrote would be a terrible waste. That's right, I have no idea how to get through my day without you. Hi. Everyone, but I are beyond the road of life and deep within my dreams. Oh. I chase behind a shadow with my mind's eye cannot see. The moments where I care the most is when I get too close, but then the voice inside of me rings out with all my hope. Hope. That's you, Sana-chan. He sang that in front of all of us, remember? It isn't like give up. Hope. It's not like me to give up. Yeah, that's because you are the light of hope itself. That song gave me courage to face my boring ass job every day, no matter how much it sucks. Oh. Uh. All because of my song? Yes, ma'am. Your passion sets the spirit's place with burning its fire. That's why I'll never give up on you. All of you. What do I do without you guys? Looks like you already got yourself a dedicated fan base. Can't ask for much more than that. Yagami san, I know I said I was scared, and truthfully, I still am. But you know what else? I'm gonna get back on my feet and keep going. No matter what happens. Good. Alright. Thank you so much, Yagami san. So everyone, I would like to ask you, from here on out, I'll be giving an input my all, so please keep cheering me on. That's exactly what I plan to do. Me too. Same here. I was never serious about her paying me back when she's successful. But who knows? At this rate when she'll end up famous enough to make a good on deal. Ha. Huh. Hopefully by then she'll be on TV and living a life of luxury, far away from me and this place. That's a cool ending of this mini story, but only 150 SP. Wow. If you can text you can date, you will meet several promising lovely ladies throughout side cases that my friends should agree to go out with you. Once this happens, they'll start a message you regularly. Make this super pertinent, invite them out via messages app. Wait, I can date Sana Chan? Dating builds intimacy. As you exchange messages with your girlfriend, choose the option that you think they'll make happy in order to build intimacy. 
eventually will be able to ask her out on dates and she might even take the first move herself. Note that even if you decline an invitation, you'll be able to go another time if you message her later on, unlike in real life. After going steady long enough and building a healthy level of intimacy, perhaps she'll even confess her feelings. Okay. Now I can finally go back home. Managed to finish three quests, one after another. But that's nice. I'm supposed to rest. Why even Got put it. this here that you have to open it every time? The doors you already know. Let's just rest. I have a stomping by tomorrow. Maybe might be a good idea to get some shed eye. Let's rest. Ooh, I'm exhausted. Is it the end of the act uh, end of the chapter? Probably, maybe. We'll see. Maybe not. Phone. Hello. Oh. It's Ayabe. It's Ayabe. Wake up. And Wake look up and look you. behind you. Huh? God, next time just knock, would you? Those must be the files he promised. Those are the files on the Matsugane robbery investigation? Investigation? What have you been smoking? No Yakuza's gonna report a robbery on their office. I mean, they'd have cops swarming the place. Wait. The Matsugane incident was never a formal case. I rounded all of this up myself. You have the cash? A hundred grand, just like you asked. Hundred grand. Nice. Mm. Everything's so clear. These are practically real case files. You want to know how long I spend on this stuff? Way more than I do on the streets. That's for sure. <laughs> Someone's proud of himself. <laughs> now then. This is the floor plan for the Matsugane family office. It's from a year ago when the break-in happened. They haven't remodeled since then, have they? Doubt it. So the question is, how did the thief break in, get the money, and make it out? So, to avoid getting seen by the security camera, the thief snuck in behind a guy coming in. Once they were in the camera's blind spot, he pistol whipped the guy and knocked him out cold. At the time, Kaito was the only one watching over the office. That's why the thief went in at 3 p.m. Barely any guards to deal with. All he had to do was point his gun at Kaito and get him to open the safe. But there was only one thief. Why didn't Kaito-san fight back? What would you do if a guy pointed a gun at your head and then shot the ceiling to prove his point? Even a guy like him would freeze up under that kind of pressure. You're really going to chance playing hero? Once the safe was open, the thief smacked Kaito too. Knocked him out just like the last guy. And that's how the story ends. So he broke in specifically when nobody was around. Ballsy, raiding a Yakuza office with just a pistol. Sounds a little too well thought out. <laughs> this guy was a pro. And consider this, if he didn't know when the office would be empty, he'd never have been able to pull it off. Clearly, he had a contact on the inside. Maybe, but still, I don't understand why Kaito-san reacted like that. Normally, he'd have killed the guy, or died trying. <laughs> thought you'd say that. Hmm? That was all just a warm-up. This next bit 
is what's worth the hundred grand. So, I said Kaito was alone in the office, right? Well, turns out someone else was there too. Huh? Higashi. He saw the whole thing go down. But Kaito's the guy who took the proverbial bullet. Oh. Interesting. Bad move, dumbass. Open the fucking safe. Hurry up or I'll kill you. Interesting. Well then, you better make it count. Otherwise, it's gonna be my turn. Apparently, the poor guy was polishing his boss's shoes off in the corner. By the time he figured out what was going on, he was fucked. Okay, then. You got me. The money's yours. I'll just... Go get it. He <laughs> guess he couldn't forget that face if he tried. It was seared into his memory. You could say it all worked out for the best, since no one got killed. You could also say Higashi abandoned his Aniki and let the thief get away. And that's one way for a Yakuza to lose a finger. Wow. Interesting. Kaito never did tell anyone else that Higashi froze like a deer in the headlights. Instead, he took the fall for the missing hundred mil and got himself tossed out of the family. <laughs> Why am I not surprised? That sounds exactly like what Kaito-san would do. Right? But what happened next? How did Higashi get the money back? Couldn't have been easy. He chased the thief down and took it back. Thought that'd get Kaito back into the fold, which it obviously didn't. Thing is, he needed access to the police database to search for faces. The police database, that means... I see it now. That's why you know what you do, huh? You think so? It's the only way you'd know about this case. They never filed a police report after all. <laughs> ding, 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 ding. ding. Long story short, Higashi used the database and found his man. A homeless guy living on the streets of Kamurocho. Known around town as Red Nose. Here, just sent you a pic. That's what he looked like before his life went to shit. This is Red Nose. I don't think his nose is all that red. Not my name, don't ask me. Anyway, I think you know what came next. He tracked Red Nose down and took the money back. But Kaito-san's still out in the cold. Ain't that funny? Meanwhile, Higashi's shooting up the ranks. Guess he got on Hamura's good side. And Red Nose? Haven't heard a peep about him. And I'm keen to keep it that way. Higashi didn't kill him, did he? Beats me. <laughs> well... How was it? Worth the hundred G's? Bye bye, Ayabo. A year ago, Higashi must have turned the city upside down looking for Red Nose. If a guy like him could pull that off, so can I. All right. Looks like that will be my next quest. 
But that next quest will have to wait till next time because I'm gonna save it right here. So thank you for watching and I'll see you next time.